So AWS actually provides you a free tier account wherein you can go and use the uh, services and try the services for a free period. And also there are a um, lot of services with, which are like free for lifetime, but there are some, uh, I mean, you can go to the uh, website. Uh, you can just go to Google, for example, and just type in AWS free tier account create like this. And the first link that you will see is from AWS, which has the uh, free cloud computing services mentioned. Just click on that and now you land up on this page. Now from here, you can create a free uh, account with this uh, by clicking on this button, but just scroll down a little bit and you can see all the types of, uh, I mean, services they are offering uh, with and now we can filter here with free, uh, uh, I mean, trials and always free and 12 months free, which is like uh, for the first 12 months, you get those services free. And then the always free is, which is always free with a particular cap on it. For example, if you see the Dynamo DB, which is the database service from Amazon, it has, it has basically 25 GB of storage free, always for lifetime. And if you uh, click on the compute Lambda, it has basically 1 million free requests for per month, which is free again, uh, for, um, I mean, for the lifetime. And if you just click on the 12 months free, what, uh, what, uh, things you get for free for the first 12 months is basically the compute EC2, uh, which is 750 hours. So if you keep, uh, uh, EC2 instance um, running for 70, uh, 750 hours, you will not be built for it in the first year. And also if you go for the S3, which is the, um, uh, S3, uh, I mean, the storage for I mean, from Amazon, you get 5 GB free storage for the first year. And also RDS, which is the database uh, and I mean, a lot of stuff that you can go. So I will um, recommend you to go to this website and check all these stuff here to get familiar with the products. Okay, uh, let's move on to the free creation of the account. Um, just create, uh, click on the create free account. Now to create this account, you need uh, particularly two things. One, uh, email address and second, uh, uh, credit card. Uh, but don't worry, I mean, you will not be charged anything uh, as long as you remain in the free, free tier, uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, side of the account and we will show you how to just be sure uh, you are not uh, utilizing any paid services uh, but yeah you will have to provide your uh, credit card details they will charge you i think around three dollars or one dollar and then they will uh, refund you after two three days so let's uh, create an account i'll be using this as my um, email address and you have to provide a account name here now this should be unique um, so I'll be providing as Zabbis, my I mean, initials are from my name and from Biswajit's name. Now let's verify the email address. Click on that um, and then provide the CAPTCHA, ZZN. And you should get an email. Okay, that's the wrong CAPTCHA, 7WT8YM. Verify again. And this should trigger an email to your mail address. So if I go here and refresh, yeah, I, I get this email. So now I have to provide this verification code here. Not this one, 072858, 072858, and then verify. Okay, now you have to create a root password. Um, so uh, what, what you're creating is a root account. A uh, root account means the King Kong access. I mean, you can do anything on, on, on the account. So now you have to provide the uh, root password. So make sure you uh, provide a complex password, which should include uh, uppercase, lowercase, special characters, and some number just to be safe. Uh, that is the I mean, fair password policy you should observe. Now let's continue. No, no, I will say no. Now it will ask you for I mean, what type of purpose is the account for. So I'll go for personal and then provide a name, um, say my name and just le let's say the number and the region should have India somewhere. Yep, and the address so I can say anything like this um, and then 
just agree to the license agreement and continue to step two. Now here is where you have to provide the uh, credit card details. So I will just stop my share and uh, enter my credit card details. And then I will again share the screen. So it's asking me for the OTP for the payment. So it's charging me at two rupees um, Indian currency uh, just to test the validity of the card. So I provided the wrong OTP. Now it, it will ask me to uh, identify my uh, identity so I can um, do it via a voice call or a text message. So I have to provide the phone number again. The country code that should be plus nine one. I click on send SMS and I should receive an SMS with the code. Continue. Yeah, now, now this is the support plan. So if you want to go for a paid plan, uh, I don't think anyone should because we're just creating for, uh, I mean, learning this uh, AWS, right? But if you have a corporate plan, obviously you will go for these plans. So we will go for the basic support, which includes all these stuff. And I will click on complete sign up. Okay. So now uh, congratulating us for creating the AWS account. Now I can click on this and go to the management console and I can sign in using my new account credentials, right? So. I can go and sign in as a root user. You will learn this um, concept of root and I am, but as of now, I have to basically provide the uh, email address that I have used to register my account. Zubair, uh, I think the email ID was wrong. Uh, is it, let's let's try. Yeah, let's go back. See that last one? Network set B and com, com, com. okay, yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now here is uh, it's asking for me for the credentials. So I'll type the credentials here. Now, I mean, um, Amazon has basically changed this console to a new console. So you can use the new or the uh, old console. Basically, I'll start with the new console and, uh, and I will show you how to change to the old console as well. But I will recommend you to uh, get used to the new console because uh, that's how, uh, I mean, uh, AWS is moving forward. So yeah, so we have uh, successfully created, yeah. So just to add, I mean, when your exams, when you are in the exams, it will be tested on the new console. Yeah, basically. Most of the yes. questions would be on the new, new console, console uh, correct. information. Yes. Correct, correct. Yeah. So great. Uh, so guys, I think uh, you have come to know, you know how to use the AWS portal and how to create a pre-tier account for this.